Today we are going to learn the parts of the violin and the violin accessories. For the violin, we have the scroll here, the scroll, then the tuning pegs, they are four in number, four tuning pegs, then you have the strings, one, two, three, four, then you have the neck, the violin neck, this is the peg box, hmm? inside here, the peg box. That's where the strings of the violin have contact with the pegs. Then this black board here is the fingering board. Fingering board. This is the lower bout of the violin. This is the upper bout of the violin. And everywhere, all this part is called the body of the violin. Or the sound box of the violin. This is the F hole. Is also the F hole. It's also called sound hole. Then this is the bridge of the violin. These are fine tuners, four in number, corresponding with the number of strings. Then this is the tailpiece, and this is the chin rest. Usually it comes with the, with your violin, so you don't need to buy separately. Then under here we have the end pin and this is the clamp for the chin rest. We also have the parts the bow. This is the screw. We used to losing the tension or losing the violin hair or to tighten it. So that's the screw. This is the frog, this area. Then this metal thing here is called the metal band or ferrule. While this is the violin hair, you don't touch the front. See, I'm touching from the back. This is the violin, the bow hair, rather. This is the stick. The stick. This is the tip. And this is the grip of the bow. So that's that for the bow. The other accessories we need for the violin includes the shoulder rest. Is how to fix it like this from the back. The shoulder rest. You have to fix it like that for use. Mm -hmm. So that's the shoulder rest. And this is the dust cloth. The use cannot be overemphasized. You use it to dust the uh, violin, to take care of the violin. This is the rosin. To sharpen the bow, this is a spare string. It does what a um, spare tire will do for your car. So, in case you are somewhere and you, your string snaps, you can easily change with a spare string. There are various uh, strings in the market. So, that's basically all the accessories I have. But you can also have uh, get a metronome. To help you keep the beat through clicks like that uh, and you can also get a tuner in fact the violin cannot do without a tuner for me i have digital metronome and uh, a tuner in my phone so you don't need to buy the manual or analog